Hello and welcome to this short presentation about Oracle Database Account Passwords in Oracle Key Vault 21.6. Hi, my name is Peter Wald. I'm the Product Manager for Encryption Key and Secrets Management in the Oracle Database Security Group. Before we dive into centrally managing Oracle Database Account Passwords in Oracle Key Vault, I would like to introduce you to a few new features that we built into OKV 21.6. You know that you can extend your OKV cluster from your on-premise deployments into OCI by adding OKV nodes that you can deploy from the Oracle Cloud Marketplace into your OCI tenancy. Now, there are some customers who deploy their databases into AWS or Microsoft Azure. They can now enjoy the same high availability, scalability and fault tolerance of an extended OKV cluster that spans either on-premise into the cloud or they can certainly install an OKV, an OKV cluster only in the cloud. You could also theoretically network all those OKV clusters together and have one big OKV cluster and you have your encryption keys and secrets available everywhere across clouds and across your on-premise data centers. If you already have a single sign-on infrastructure, then OKV can very simply be integrated to benefit from this feature. We allow cloning of OKV VMs. It's a really simple process. You create a template, then you clone this template with the software provided by the virtualization software vendor. You start the clone VMs, you go through the remaining steps to make them unique and with multiple clones you are now ready to build your OKV cluster. Building an OKV cluster, adding and removing nodes to and from a cluster can be fully scripted, which makes OKV ready for infrastructure as, as code tools like Terraform. From the many uses of Oracle Key Vault, we like to focus on number two, database account passwords. Let's take a closer look. Let's take an example. Um, you have maintenance scripts that log into your database every night, every week to do maintenance tasks like rebuilding indexes, refreshing materialized views, refreshing a data warehouse from a transactional database, creating an Armand backup. Those maintenance scripts need pretty powerful accounts into your database. Now, keeping that account password in your maintenance script is obviously not a good security practice. For this, Oracle invented the Secure External Password Store many, many years ago. It provides better security by allowing you to move the password out of the, um, out of the maintenance script into a wallet. You would have to reconfigure each database so that the database knows that when this user tries to connect to this connect string, then I will fetch the password out of the wallet. Now the management is still manual. If you rotate your passwords, you not only do this in each database, you also have to update each secure external password store. And the question remains, how do you facilitate controlled and temporary sharing of those passwords? And eventually you have to deploy, maintain and protect thousands of secure external password stores. When we store those passwords in OKV centrally, that not only gives you better security, by avoiding the permanent password footprint on your server. It allows to rotate the passwords automatically. You can certainly limit who has access to those passwords. You can strictly control sharing of those passwords. And we can use very strong passwords that are randomly generated. We simplify management by avoiding the proliferation of secure external password stores. You set it up once and you forget it and you do not have to reconfigure your database. Demo time. So here I'm on my database server and I would like to add two passwords into OKV that two different users then use to log into the database. So for this, I create a random file on a RAM disk. This will hold a random string that I create with OpenSSL. That's just an example. You can use whatever tool you prefer to create random strings. And then I create a SQL statement that allows me to 
create this user in my database and apply that password to the user. And the next step is to register this password with OKB. You can do this with one command. We add custom attributes. The password is activated at a certain time. In this example, it's it is now. And now that we have the first password in OKB, let's create another one. So here is my second password. This time I grant this to a user who will create backups in my database. That is why he has the sysbackup privilege. And again, I don't make any effort to remember this password. We register this password with OKV. In this case, the connect string is the same, but the username is different. Then we write a simple shell script This shell script will take three parameters. The last one is optional. The first one is the username. The second one, the first one is my username. The second one is the connect string. And the last, which is the optional one, is the extra privilege. At first, I create again a random file on a RAM disk. And by searching for the username and the connect string, I will find the unique ID that that identifies the password and I write this unique ID into this random file here. This is what the object locate command does. The secret get command uses the unique ID to get the password out of OKV and I'm again writing this to the secure file. I'm, I'm overwriting the unique ID. I don't need it anymore. And here I make a simple decision. If I have an extra privilege, then I will connect as Armen. If I don't have a special privilege, I use this part of, um, of the routine and I log into my database. This does nothing else but sleeping for three seconds. This, replace, um, this is a placeholder for your maintenance script. So whatever your script does, it would go here. And here is a trick. I start deleting this file, but I sleep for two seconds. So I have two seconds of time to log in before this file will be deleted. So the lifetime of this password is well, not even two seconds, right? You can play with this number, may, maybe make it even smaller, depending on how quick you log into your database. So that's my script and I will make it executable. And now I log in with the user whose maintenance task is to refresh a data warehouse from this transactional database. Here in my example, I log into the database, I wait for three seconds, which is the placeholder for your script, and then I log out again. Now, if we log in as the user nightly backup, I have an extra privilege, sys backup, and in this case, that was a typo. In this case, I log in as Armen into my pluggable database. I would like to point a few OKV resources to you. Um, the Oracle Keyboard documentation, of course. Then in this example here, I use the RESTful services and those are documented as well. We have an Oracle Keyboard Live Lab where you can experience the many use cases of OKV for yourself. I mentioned earlier that you can deploy OKV into your OCI tenancy from the Cloud Marketplace. This is the link. We have a keyboard homepage on oracle.com. And if you like to watch more videos from the Oracle Database Product Management Team, then here is our channel. Well, I hope that video was useful to you. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.